Yo guys, Features Gaming here and welcome back to another video here on the channel and today it's time to go trucking. We're in Euro Truck with a episode on the trucking career. Yes, the trucking career. My, it has been so long since we've done an episode on the trucking career but today we are continuing with the series. So I was going to go with a new truck but I don't know how much the truck definitely is. I think it's around 150 quid. Um, 150,000 quid, not 150 quid. That'll be super cheap. And in that case, I'll buy it right now. And it's a Scania RGL, I do believe. So basically, the same brand as this one, but just a different style. And I just love the interior of it. And I don't know how much it is. I think it's 150, like, with the accessories I want in it as well. But I think I'm going to get that at least to, like, 200, then maybe spec out uh, and get the truck. So we need to look for a job in the job market then in order to start getting in some income. So I reset back in Birmingham because I don't actually know where I ended off. I think I was probably somewhere in, Aus in Austria or something. I don't know. But yeah, I reset back into Birmingham because I loaded in a bunch of mods. So uh, we do have like some very, very, very uh, like uh, short jobs. But that's earning in like a lot of money per mile, which is very good. That one, 24 grand, which is an absolute beast going from Birmingham to Aberdeen. That might be the one to go for then, maybe. There's one to Grimsby, which is quite a short job. But if we do this one, then it's quite long and possibly a lot to maybe encounter on the journey, like going on the motorways and stuff. I think that's going up the A1 as well, maybe. So I think that, no, I think that's the M1, actually. My mistake. Uh, so we might be able to encounter some traffic and maybe some problems with the AI as well, which should make for an exciting video. So I think I'm going to take that. So we need to uh, get into the cab. I've actually got head tracking on as well. And uh, yeah, do have uh, the Grand Tour. Yeah, I've got the... I've got... <laughs> Shut up, Richard Hammond. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so I do have the uh, the Grand Tour uh, voice navigation mod on. I do have my own one, but at some point it just does cut out and it's not really very good. So I'm going to try and get that sorted out for next episode. But if I don't, then I'm just going to keep the Grand Tour on what the Grand Tour one on because I actually really like the Grand Tour mod the on. Now I, I need to kind of go into the, that lane. There we go. So take the second exit. Okay. No one coming to my right, so I can move off. Look left, signal. Exit. And, yeah, go into there. I mean, doing driving lessons now, like, kind of gives left. me a... Um, and then turn left. Yeah, like, get, um, doing driving lessons kind of... Uh, you have reached your destination. Well done. Although, frankly, I did all the hard work. Shut up. <laughs> so, um, yeah, like, as I was saying before, I was interrupted again. Ooh. Might do that one actually. Might take that type of style. But yeah, like actually doing driving lessons um, in real life uh, really helps to know how to drive in real, uh, how to drive in a simulator. Even though like a simulator isn't real life, it's good to treat it like it is real life. But otherwise, yeah, let's get uh, let's get hooked up. So the Scania RGL as well uh, doesn't work with the advanced coupling either so I've turned advanced coupling off so when we do eventually get that tray uh, when we do eventually get that truck I won't have to mess around with the settings even though I'm pretty I'm being like super careful hooking onto this trailer I shouldn't really be but well, as pleasant as you can have with us three navigating your route. yeah that's very true well I'm speaking to a bag yeah, um, when I get my uh, my new truck, I'm gonna, literally going to put a person there so it actually looks like someone's in the cab with me. Turn left. They're actually navigating me, so I suppose that's probably a good idea to have. Let's reset my track IR. There we go. So we have about nine hours and a half remaining going up to Aberdeen. Uh, I think we're going to be taking along the M1 maybe then. So, uh, yeah, shouldn't be a too difficult drive for Keep me. Right. But then, with the AI, right. like knowing the AI these days, there's probably going to be like um, a lot to encounter turn maybe. Right. But you never know. I don't know if you can hear an echo in my headphones either, so I don't know. And I'm trying to record this in a slightly different way as well. Uh, so um, I'll review that as well. Because usually I use my 
Ava Media Capture Device, but I'm actually using OBS to record this on. I've just tweaked some of the settings down, and maybe it works, I don't know, but I think um, we can review uh, that at the end. And I've just seen that A, I need to sleep, B, my truck is quite damaged, and I might actually be okay on fuel, maybe. I don't know. I think the damage Keep won't... Left and I don't really think the uh, LO red light... I don't think the um, the damage turn should left. really um, affect us. The sleep, maybe, because how long have we got left to sleep? Four hours. So, yeah, we will need to sleep eventually. And uh, when is our... Just check that's on red. Yeah, and what is the uh, expected delivery time? Thursday at 2.20. And at the moment, it's 6 a.m. on Wednesday. So, yeah, we should have plenty of time to do this job then with sleep so we should we should have a good amount of um rest time before we need to sleep so i'm not going to rush into sleeping now because we if we get stuck in traffic as i said then that sleep bar is just going to keep crawling up and up and up and then we will need to sleep again and then we'll possibly be late so i'm not going to rush into sleeping I'm gonna let the sleep time go down for a bit maybe when that hits probably like seven hours six and a half remaining then probably Caution, that's when i'll speed. yeah thank you richard Hammond. that then that's probably when i'll uh, look for a rest stop and uh call it and call it a day there so i think it does mean that we will go into a nighttime drive which i don't mind but if it is what we have to do it's what we have to do i don't mind the odd nighttime drive i prefer to drive in the day because you get to see lovely scenery around so it is what it is so yeah it's possibly going to be uh, a, a, an evening nighttime drive i think so it shouldn't be too hard so uh let's get on the road then and uh see where this trip takes us keep left you can see a sign up there left Thank you. So uh, we are going to be going on to the M6. Turn left. So uh, okay, I don't know if it merges into the M1 later on down the uh, down the motorway. I don't know. But uh, yeah, going on to the M6 on the slip road. Make sure that we um, don't have any traffic. Now, actually, we can just stay on this road for as long as we need to. Actually. But we kind of do need to merge over now because we're not getting off at the next junction. Right. Keep right. And then continue straight. And that's exactly what I've done, Richard Hammond. Okay, I'm going to change the uh, the uh, route advisor speed limit to show the truck. And maybe put the route advisor speed warning on now. As we are going to now obey the rules uh, on the road. So, um... Yeah, now it's up to 60, because it was on 70, and I was just like, that's not realistic for a truck. So, uh, turn it down to uh, 60. Continue straight. And uh, should be more realistic now. Jeez, this truck is struggling a bit. I thought this was going to be... Whoa, that's major lag there. I thought this truck was going to be able with this. What's the weight of the trailer? 11 tonnes. We've got a good brake horsepower engine in this. This should be pulling like a beat. This should be... Um, Pulling this trailer without a problem. But no, it seems that the game has other ideas. I don't know if it is the truck or the trailer. Why is this lagging a little bit? My, my new way of recording might not be working as uh, I was intending for it to, maybe. I just hope I clicked record and not um, speed camera. just hope I clicked record and not stream. Hmm. So a little bit later on down the line, there Continue we go, straight. another bit of screen freezes, yeah occasionally I am kind of getting that bit of lag, so uh, yeah my new recording way of recording these may not work and might have to uh, revert to recording with my Avermedia capture device, which is a bit, um, what's the word I'm looking for, which is quite disappointing to be honest because I thought this would work and the reason why I switched to recording with OBS is because my Ava Media capture device captures in a variable frame rate and in order for my editing software to edit it needs to be a constant frame rate so 
I basically need to record like an hour long and then need to put it through handbrake to turn it into a constant frame rate and that just takes forever and I thought record it, recording OB, recording it through OBS would be even better as that records in a, in a um, in a constant frame rate but yeah if it means that's what I have to do that's what I have to do and um, yeah not too fussed about it if I have to it's just going to be a bit annoying but it might mean that the truck and career videos will slow down well don't really think they could slow down from what it used to be it's just because I've been trying out a different game but yeah I think I need to start looking for a rest stop now uh, still continuing on the M6 I think we are actually going to go on to the M1 in a minute so that should be okay but yeah I think we really need to start looking for a rest stop now because I don't think there's many rest stops on the on the motorway so we need to keep our eyes peeled for a rest stop I don't know when the nearest one is but uh, hopefully soon and hopefully we'll be able to get there without our driver being so tired that he falls asleep behind the wheel for like a few seconds and then we wake up in a barrier upside down with uh, opposing traffic honking at us to get out the way yes I do need to slow down let's do that then so yeah hopefully that we find a hopefully we find a rest stop soon is there someone by my side no I thought there was but yeah you can see how like that was my uh, recording software doing that but yeah, hopefully it doesn't get too bad, but we're going to have to deal with it at the moment. But yeah, let's uh, keep our eyes peeled to uh, find a rest stop so we can call it a day there. So, going up to 60 now. There we go. Okay, I think there is a rest stop now coming up. Yeah, it says there in about 200 yards. So, I think we're going to go off there and uh, call it a day because my character has literally just started to yawn so we're going to peel off here go into the services don't think we need a refuel do we need a refuel I think we might top it up just to make sure but apart from that I just need to keep going and uh, yeah get some sleep I think I will just refuel it so then we have some extra fuel but yeah the uh, the screen freezes are really starting to annoy me a little bit now so I'm not gonna lie but let's uh, just stop here refuel and then we'll probably go somewhere over there and uh, just call it a day so let's just refuel it's going up quite quick to be honest how much is it gonna be about a thousand yeah, 962. Some expensive fuel there. But it's what you have to deal with. And it's just been paid out of my bank. Right, so let's uh, just uh, go in here. And let's see if we can stick as tight as we can to that white line. Just a little bit forward. A little bit more. Yep, yeah, I know. I'm getting some major screen freezes now. And let's leave it there. Let's get some rest. And it's raining. What else would you want? Uh, I have got a rain effect on. Uh, there we go. <laughs> got to turn off my parking brake. Ah, oh, brilliant. It's raining. Absolutely brilliant. What else would you want? Oh, well. I suppose it's what we're going to have to work with at the moment then. Hopefully it dies off sooner down the line. It is getting a bit challenging now to uh, to do lane manoeuvres because, as you can see on the window, I can barely see out of that mirror. Same for the other side. It's even worse on the other side because I can't see out there. So when I have to lane change, I have to do a quick look out the window and just check that there's nothing coming. But with that side, I can't really do it that easily. So I literally have to go with uh, instinct. When, I, when do I think? I need to slow down. When do I think that that car is going to be behind my trailer in order for me to safely move over Keep to right. the uh, and then to the slow straight. lane? But I am literally feeling the effects now of me continue recording straight. from OBS because occasionally I am getting those screen freezes and uh, I think it's getting more annoying than me just having to sit here waiting for the file to process through handbrakes to turn it into a constant frame rate. Which is a shame, but I suppose that's what I'm going to have to do now. Continue straight. But 
I mean, it's not all that bad because I could do it like when I'm at college or something or getting on with something like, or just watch YouTube, just lay in my bed, watch YouTube while I wait for it to process, watch a film or something. But, yeah, if that's what I'm going to have to do to make, uh, to make Euro Truck videos, I'll do that. But the thing is, is what I don't see is that I don't have this problem when I'm actually streaming, which is a bit weird, but it's just got to be something within OBS that can't be fixed at the moment, so maybe, maybe future, maybe like down the line, OBS might be another, might be um, a solution in the end to uh, maybe go back to recording videos this way and uh, it not lagging so much. Okay. Why, when I came up behind, I was trying to break, but I didn't want to break too harshly to lose all my momentum. As soon as I came up right up behind, as soon as I came came up right behind him, he started to gradually break harder and harder and harder, and he was just gonna bring me to a complete stop. He did anyway by making me crash into the back of him, so that was legally my fault but he was just he just kept breaking and breaking and breaking i know that i should have left the two seconds but i didn't want i didn't want to literally break harshly and lose all, all my momentum he just kept breaking and breaking and breaking and will eventually bring me to a stop and i don't know why he did that there's nothing in front of him it was a 60 speed limit he was going somewhere like 45 or something 35 and i was just like what are you doing that for mate Oh man, at least we only got a bit of a percent on our truck, not all of it, but if we did have traffic offence on, man will I be having words. Okay, so it's got to the point where we're actually finally getting off of the motorway. I was just going to say that we haven't had these uh, screen freezes for a, a long time. They're, they are gradually getting uh, reducer and reducer, so they are getting more and more rare, but I'm still getting them occasionally. So uh, I was going to say that we probably have uh, stopped it, but obviously it looks like it looks like I'm wrong. I mean, I think in like very non-scenic, if that's the right word, like places where there's like no cars or anything, then it is very rare to get the the uh, the screen freezes, but. We are still getting them, unfortunately. Man, this truck is struggling a lot. I need to check what horsepower we have in this engine. Because I do not believe it is this slow. I remember when I had a truck that used to go like 100. But this is not the best. Oh well, nearly at our destination though, so shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. And there goes the first overtake. One of many, I do believe. And now further on down the line, I think uh, we're on the home stretch. Just got to go through this windy road. It's quite windy, this one. And uh, with the screen freezes, it's not been that easy. But managed without any damage so that's good slow and steady wins of the race so got about an hour left it's just gone past midnight on thursday well say that it's like half past midnight so early on on thursday and it looks like we're going to get this uh, job delivered on time actually quite early to be honest but hopefully that should mean that we should get some good XP for delivering this and uh, I think it was like offering in 20 grand or something hopefully we haven't got any damage on the goods so we get a good amount of uh, we get a good profit let's say so I think we are definitely now in Scotland I didn't know when we would actually cross the border between England and Scotland but I think we're now definitely in Scotland now I think we probably w went in Scotland probably like two hours ago in game 
when we were still on the M6. I think it was uh, on the M10 actually. So I think we actually uh, crossed the Scottish border quite a while ago, but we're now officially in Scotland now. Making our way on this windy road to Aberdeen, which we should be enclosing on in about half an hour in game, not in real life. In 200 meters, turn left. Wow, you have to be really precise about that, do you, James May? Well, I suppose it is. A little handy that you get the exact measurement. But we are closing in on the last five minutes. Literally, the drop-off is over there somewhere. And if this traffic gets moving, we should be able to get there a lot quicker. But at the moment, there's a lot of traffic around. The screen freezes are really helping as well, so yeah. Waiting on all of the traffic that's around at the moment. As soon as I honk my horn, and then one starts to go, Turn and left. I thought it was going to cause a crash. Maybe not then. Maybe that's the secret. Just sit here going. And eventually they'll pull out. Yeah, one's, another one's starting to go. We're going to be stopping and starting for quite a, for quite a while, I do believe. Because there is quite a lot of traffic. I don't even have a traffic mod installed, so I'm surprised that there is this much traffic, but... I mean, it shouldn't be rush hour anyway, so... It's 1.30 in the morning. Who'll be out driving at this time? But I do spot a chance now. Well, I didn't expect to see you there. Right, fellow trucker, they should wait. And we've got a screen freeze immediately turning the corner. Yeah, okay, I think he did <laughs> wait for me. Probably caused them um, a bit too much of a traffic jam, to be honest, behind me. But we do need to start moving, otherwise we will literally just go past our mark board just waiting there. So, Keep left. And I think, turn left. in my opinion, it was probably the best idea to get out of there and there and then. But in the real world... Turn Probably be a bit more patient, but. <laughs> at least we're here now, though, at the drop off point in Aberdeen, and apparently we've discovered the city, but I don't actually know where the city is. It's probably up there somewhere, but. You I don't have know. Reached your destination. Well thank you! Done. Yay! And you shut up, please, thank you. <laughs> Right, what do we need to do? Hello, there we go. I think we'll do the uh, well, I think we'll do the uh, the hardest one, and it seems to be over there, which is wonderful because I have no idea how to get there. I think I'm just gonna pull up this way, and then just look out the corner for the entire thing. So, I don't think this goes well. It's looking good so far, though. I'm not gonna lie. One screen freeze and it can mess up my entire attempt. Right. That should be enough. Maybe counteract the steer a little bit. A little bit more. Actually, now we're going to overshoot it. Nothing that uh, goes for a good attempt. There we go. I think that was a worthy uh, attempt. Yeah, there we go. 24 grand. That is absolutely brilliant. We're still level 27 though. Continue. What does that put us on? 188 grand. It's gone to the driver manager. Yeah, we are earning in a whopping 26 grand a day. So we should be able to get that Scania RGL in no time. 
There's Martin earning in two grand, nearly three grand. And we has um and we also have Joseph, I think, earning in one grand. Of course we need to do our tradition. Seeing if we can hire Pavel Sabor in the game. I think you can actually um hire Squirrel in the game as well. Well Paul is his uh, real name. Well there's Lucas down there. <laughs> Could get him. But um no, that's Pavel uh, uh, M, not Pavel Sabor. Not the Pavel I'm looking for. Uh, <laughs> I didn't. I wasn't actually meaning for that to rhyme, but it just came out like that. But I don't think Pavel is going to be in this selection. If he is, then he's usually at the top because he usually has a good rating on him. And that's probably why we don't have him at the moment because we're not really at the same level he is because we are on... Actually, we're on 7.5. We should be able to hire him. Just like it just looks like that he can't at the moment. What are our other drivers' ratings? 2.5 and 4.2. I don't see why he's earning less money than Martin then, because Martin's on a lower level than Joseph, and Joseph is earning in a lower profit than Martin. I mean, we are earning in the best in the company, because obviously we we are the owner at a 7.5 rating. We should be able to get some more drivers in too as well. But I want to get that Scania RGL because I really like that truck. But apart from that, that is going to be the end of this video. So if you did like it, leave a, li leave a like. That would be awesome. And thank you very much. Also, make sure to uh, subscribe as well if you haven't already. Uh, so go ahead and do that. And also make sure you hit the notification as uh, bell as well after you're subscribed. That way you'll get notified every time I upload a brand new video. So you guys will be the first ones there to view it and like it and all of that jazz. Uh, and also you will get notified every time I go live. So you guys will be able to interact with me. But apart from that, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. But until, but, in, but until then, take care and peace out.